This is my DIY archaeological dig kit present. Uh, this is a great idea for anybody that's hard to get presents for or needs a little bit more of a challenge during the holidays or their birthday. Um, let's look at all the parts uh, to build this kit. First, you need a box or a or a metal tin or something to put the material inside. Uh, this box, I just wrapped tape around um, to try to make it a little bit more uh, uh, solid uh, so the mixture doesn't, doesn't seep out. Um, you need plaster Paris, sand. Um, this is kind of a this is kind of what was around the, my house in Savannah, um, but you can go buy play sand from play sand uh, from Home Depot. Uh, you need water, and you need uh, let's see, a spoon to mix with, um, some packing tape. I always provide a brush in the kit so they can uh, wipe away what they've chipped. Uh, this is a jeweler's hammer. Um, they do sell plastic ones. Um, but I like this jeweler's hammer. I got this from Harbor Freight, um, but it's nice and small and they can uh, work in picking the areas. It also comes with some other little tools like here at the bottom, there's a screwdriver. Um, so you can get into little fine areas. Uh, I want to say they run maybe $5. They're pretty, you can get them on sale for less than $2 at Harbor Freight, but a good little, uh, a good little tool for them to dig with. Um, the items that I'm putting in uh, this kit this year, I have three gift cards. Um, these gift cards have just been wrapped with tape. Um, I'll show you in the next cut of how I wrap them up. I'm putting a broken cell phone I found about a week ago. Um, I like putting stuff that's not common in it uh, to try to make it a little bit more fun while they're digging around. Um, snail shell I found around the house or found outside um, and some other just 3D printed stuff. Um, Always good to have a Sharpie as well to write in the gift cards uh, to show how much how much are on each card. Um, but I'll start the mix and uh, we'll go into the next part. This is how I wrap the gift cards. I wrap tape around long ways, um, going over twice and overlapping the edges so um, so it seals the edge. And then I'll go back and wrap one piece here and one piece here. Um, I'm just using standing standard packing tape for this. Um, and I found this is the best way to wrap the gift cards um, so that you won't have that plaster sand mix uh, getting into the card. Measure out even parts of plaster Paris and the sand. Uh, this recipe calls for a one to one uh, to one for water. Um, first thing I'll do is I'll actually pour the plaster Paris into the sand. Just like that. And I will mix the dry mix up first. Um, the reason I mix the dry mix up first is so everything uh, is nice and mixed before I add the water. Um, Plaster Paris, when water's added, it starts the reaction and will become solid. Um, so that's why it's critical uh, to, to mix up the dry mix first so you get everything nice and mixed. I'm going to cut away um, while mixing. In my first mix, I will only use half of the sand in Plaster of Paris. Um, scooping it out, I put the rest back in the Plaster of Paris container. Um, this will make it easier to work with, um, and you kind of can do different levels. So all you need to do next is add your water. And start mixing it up. I'm going to cut away now once I get the mix done. Now I pour the Plaster Paris in the box. Um, Plaster Paris only has about a six minute working life. Um, so get your objects in the Plaster Paris as quick as possible. Here's all my items laid in the Plaster Paris. Um, I have both gift cards, um, some of the 3D printed objects, the cell phone. Under the cell phone, I put the other gift card. So maybe it's a little bit harder to get to. Um, and I am actually going to mix up the next batch and pour it in. This is my second batch of plaster of Paris sand mix. Um, I'm just going to pour it right on top of um, the first layer. I make this layer a little bit more soupy. Um, it helps to kind of um, fill in all the extra gaps. 
I just like to pour it right in. Um, I'm going to scrape the top of this and jump back in. If you act quickly, you can add the remaining water into your container and mix it around um, and save it for another day. Sometimes you'll notice items will try to rise up if you try to level it out. For example, this is where the uh, snail shell is. So just try to push it back down. Um, once the plaster pair sets up, um, it will stay down. Again, you can kind of see this other part's trying to float up. Just push it back down. And then hopefully, um, it will be covered up. After about two hours, the exothermic reaction with the sand, plaster, Paris, and water mix should be done. Um, about 30 minutes uh, into the uh, process, I actually went and got my finger and put dig um, in the plaster Paris. If you notice, the plaster Paris does not fill up the entire box, only about half of it. Um, you can make it fill up all the way if there's more gifts that you have, or you can just use half the box. And I'll show you why I only use half the box. I actually get some tissue paper. There's some nice tissue paper. I'll put it in the center. And I will put the items they need to use. First, I have a hammer. Um, use a small jeweler's hammer. It works very good. Um, or if you can find one of the plastic ones that might come in uh, some of the dig kits uh, at online or at the local uh, store. So that is the first item I put in. The second one I put in, um, this is optional. If you're doing this for kids, do not put a knife in, uh, but the knife helps to cut the box and to get into some of, some of the areas and cut the gift cards out. But I'll put the knife in because it is going to an adult. Um, and the last one I do is a one inch paintbrush. Um, this just helps to kind of get some of, uh, some of the plaster pair of sand out of the way while you're digging. Um, and then I'll just wrap that up. like so and I will add maybe another layer right on top of it and that is it I'll just um, I'll just uh, gift wrap this and it should be a fun gift uh, a fun outside the uh, outside the ideas gift uh, for somebody that might have everything or that needs more of a challenge uh, during the holidays. If you guys got any questions, please leave them below. Um, if there's any steps that I didn't miss or there's any more details you need, please shoot me an email or leave messages below and I will try to get back in touch with you guys as soon as possible. I hope you guys have a lot of fun and happy holidays.